This is the making of the moth's body. So for this one, I chose quite a pale, I'm not sure if I said that in the in the head video, but I wanted quite a pale skin tone, like someone had not been outside for a while. <laughs> but also, just because the pale clays give you a nice kind of sh although I suppose I suppose the darker clays also give you quite a nice shimmery look it just depends so I think it was just really because I wanted I just imagined her having quite a pale skin for this one then as you can see in the video her pose changed quite a lot over time I started with her legs together but somehow I just didn't it wasn't, it didn't give enough movement, I didn't feel. So I ended up moving her one leg out, which I think looked better in the end. I suppose the most of my work in this one was really the pose, just getting it right. Sometimes poses come easily and sometimes they take quite a while. And this one was one of those times where there was a lot of moving around. 